the best to come. And in this video, whoo, Gary Gessler's starting to put it on their asses now. Keep running your mouth, Ken Griffin. He's going to show you who's got the fucking badge, bitch. Listen, they passed it in October, October 13th, 2023, right here. All right, the new rules to increase the transparency and short selling and the short selling data that's going to be released to the public. Now, you might be familiar with short interest when it comes to your favorite YouTuber. They used to talk about Ortex, and we talk about why Ortex ain't worth the shit because only 80% of the people out there report their short interest. 20% don't. People like Virtue, Citadel, or anybody else whose pants they feel is too big where they don't have to do that, they don't do it. All right? But the new rule says every fucking body does it. If you're short a company, the SEC says they want to know about the short position, when you got the short position, and if you close the short position, you got to let them know within 15 minutes that you have closed out that position. If you open up a new position, they want to know within 15 minutes we, you went short on something. The end of naked short selling is over. Now, with this new transparency rules, there's something interesting here you need to know about, all right? It includes broker dealers, all right? Your broker, my broker, their broker, everybody's broker, yeah, if they go short, they have to report it to the SEC within 15 minutes, all right? Now, how does a broker dealer go short? We're going to go ahead and just get this on out there in the air tonight because I've been hinting around at it and I didn't want to talk about it, but it looks like it's coming out. So we might as well have this discussion. Let me ask you again. I'll put a qualifier in it this time for you. What stock is your broker dealer short on if they're payment for order flow? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Every one of them. Every time somebody presses the buy button in a payment for order flow brokerage, they fulfill that order, they take that order, then they send it to the market maker. Okay, y'all know this. Up until that point, the stock transaction isn't complete. There hasn't been an execution. There hasn't been a finding of the share to give to your account. Okay, so payment for order flow brokers, if they accept a buy order, it is now short because now they got to send it to the market maker and the market makers got two days to find the share. If they don't find it, what happens? It goes FTD. So don't you see all of this comes together now to where they're dealing with payment for order flow brokers. You cannot just keep accepting orders like Citadel receiving these order flows, how's he do it? Receiving them order flows, all right, from Robin Hood and from all the rest of the brokers, yeah. And then he makes the comment in the hearing, the GameStop hearing, that he made $7 billion worth of transactions on the 27th. And I'm thinking, you've lost your motherfucking rabbit ass mind, Ken. How could you have done that? $7 billion. Well, we were accepting orders that we didn't, intend to fulfill at the time. This stops that. If a broker dealer accepts an offer, then they are gonna have to report that to the SEC within 15 minutes. And then they are gonna send it on because why? Somebody's breaking down and not keeping track of how many shares are being accepted over here versus how many shares there are. And the SEC is now bringing it all together. And they said, Run your mouth some more, Ken Griffin, because they're coming after you. They just fined him $20 million, and I was hearing about it in the GameStop hearing. Go watch those videos, people. That was such a good hearing. They were saying that he got fined $20 million, but he made $20 billion. So it's just a cost of doing business to him. Don't think they're stupid. They've just been fighting an uphill battle just like we have against these motherfuckers. But now... Now, Ken wants to embarrass Ken Griffin? You can get ready, motherfucker, because 
Because Gary's coming for you now. You done embarrassed him, and he's trying to be the secretary or the treasurer. Both of y'all, get the fuck out of here. You should have never went against him like that. Just my opinion. But the new rule, here's how it's going to work. They're going to all have to turn in their short positions, okay? And you're not going to get to see who has what. You're not going to see, because they're going to post it on the Edgar SEC website, that you're not going to see that Citadel is short these stocks, all right? They're going to hide, for confidentiality purposes, who's short what. But they're going to give us a list of stock and they're going to tell us how many shares of that stock has been shorted. You're not going to know who shorted it because, and I agree with that. It, let's say, say, for example, Citadel. If Citadel, which is what happened, somebody found out Ken Griffin and Plotkin were short, 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 short on GameStop and they put it on their ass. So they don't want the public to know who's short what stocks, but that the stocks are being shorted, they're being counted, and everybody knows now how many shares of AMC is shorted, how many shares of GME, and if they lie, people, if they lie, it's not going to go good for them. They're not buckling down on this for no reason. This is an election year. They got 11 months to try to win people over, and they know this is the hot potato that they want to fucking get right here tightening up the transparency on short selling do you realize how many votes they'll get from from retail investors huh? I seen that one video where that oh it's all political they going after the fucking short sellers and it's only because it's an election year I wouldn't give a fuck what year it was I just wish they'd hurry up and get it fucking done Give a fuck if it's an election year. And he's not doing it because it's an election year, because it was an election year before, and nobody was doing nothing about it. So it's not dealing with the election year. The election year just happens to be the icing on the cake that's really going to kick them into overdrive to make them do some kind of results to prove that they're on our side. All right? But it has nothing to do with the election year. There's something bigger at play here, people. I've told y'all that. Now, if you haven't read the first book, go ahead. It's down there in the description. I also get you the first three chapters of the second book absolutely free just for signing up. And I've got a 20% discount on the book right now. It helps me with the supplies and the things around here with the dogs and stuff. Uh, appreciate everybody that's buying the book. I'm glad I'm getting your emails and telling me how much you enjoy it and you're waiting on the second one. I'm on chapter 10. I'll talk about that in the next video. So with that, love y'all. Be blessed. I'm excited and starting to get stoked again. With that, be blessed, and I'll see you in the next video.